When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good afternoon, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Monday, January 22nd. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. A Brainerd printing company is being sued following accusations of sexual harassment. The Minnesota Department of Human Rights filed a civil lawsuit against Sheridan, formerly known as Bang Printing, for violating state civil rights laws. An investigation found the company failed to stop a supervisor from sexually harassing and assaulting two employees. Find out more in editor Matt Erickson's story in Saturday's Dispatch or online. A Brainerd Child Care Center has lost its license to operate after numerous reported violations. An order from the Minnesota Department of Human Services informed Teeny Bubbles Child Care and Learning Center of the license revocation based on a failure to comply with licensing laws. Administrators say their status is in the process of being appealed. Teeny Bubbles will stay open through the appeal process. It's full steam ahead for the 34th annual Brainerd JC's Ice Fishing Extravaganza. The event is set for February 3rd on Hole in the Day Bay. Contrary to recent Facebook rumors about the tournament's cancellation, the event is on as scheduled. The biggest obstacle ahead of the weekend is ice conditions, but more than a week of frigid temperatures was good news. Reporter Tim Speyer talked with organizers and has more on the upcoming tournament in Saturday's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. A road project in South Brainerd will be cheaper than expected. City Council members accepted a bid last week for a reconstruction project on several South Brainerd roads. The lowest bid came in 17% lower than the engineer's estimate. The lower price means assessments will likely be lower for property owners. Find out all the details on the project in my story in today's Dispatch E-Edition. Construction could begin as early as this summer on a new senior living and child care facility in Brainerd. Country Manor plans to build a complex off Beaver Dam Road near the North Town development. It will include several senior living apartment units and a child care facility with spots for 92 children. There will also be rehabilitation services for residents and the public. I've got more on the project in Saturday's paper and online. North Star Manganese is looking for Crowing County's support of an application to the Minnesota DNR. The mining company presented its application for state leases of 720 acres near Emily to the Crowing County Board last week. Along with land that was previously owned by Crowing Power, North Star has secured some leases around the property as they explore the high-grade deposit. Check out Tim Spire's story in today's e-edition for more on the issue. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Eighty years ago today, in 1944, the Dispatch reported that Lt. Henry Thayer, reported missing in action in Germany, has been heard from via shortwave radio. The message, saying that he was well, broadcast from a German POW camp, was heard by a South Carolina woman, who then contacted Thayer's parents here. It is the first such radio message received from a Nazi war camp. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. (laughs) 
Storm Tracker. Happy Monday, Brainerd Lakes area. Today is going to be a cloudy day with a high of 28 degrees, so it goes cooler than yesterday. Lighter winds expected, though. You may see a fl stray flurry as well. Overnight tonight, still cloudy with temperatures near 20 degrees. As we kick off your Tuesday, temperatures will flirt around the freezing mark with cloudy skies, and those clouds are going to stick around for Wednesday as well as temperatures slowly climb into the mid-30s for the rest of the week. That's where our temps will be parked. A little bit more sunshine by the end of the weekend. I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Jesse Ritka. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support. And thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow.